Good morning. Uh, so yesterday, um, I finished off, well, thought I'd finished off writing some tests and getting the basics of uh, import um, function working. Um, but I had to f finish up and start my work day uh, before I could do some proper testing. Um, and as soon as I started doing some testing, I realized there were some problems. Um, and I added a few more actual tests uh, and exposed all kinds of little problems with the current work. So I'm having a bit of a rethink about um, the way we're handling the data. Um, so I've got a few to do's here, um, but before we do that, I'll quite show you what some of the tests I added um, and what happened. Um, I added, um, let's see, what did we have already? So yeah, we had, we got to the point where we wanted to start testing, um, got to update that, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, we had wanted to d start adding um, snippets. It's hard to find it now because I haven't. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, got to the point where we were creating a brand new snippet, which was actually a copy of an existing one, um, and saying don't update. Um, so we expected everything to kind of be rejected. Um, and that worked fine. It did reject um, purely because of the update equals false. Um, so what was happening was, if I get to the code, um, it was basically finding an existing version and saying, okay, we're not updating, so skip. That's all it's doing. Um, we're looping through um, all the input snippets. So that worked fine, no problem there. Um, and then the second next test I added afterwards, um, where we're doing the same thing. Uh, so we've, you know, as part of our previous test, we um, we grab um, the tests that are left after running the sync here. Um, uh, so we grab, see what we've got, convert them into um debug snippets because they come back oh, sorry that's a good point why am we doing that get the result debug snippets append Oh yeah, because we need pointers. We're taking the pointer. So we get pointers back and we want the actual copy. Um, so um, yeah, and we check them, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, so I do another test here, but so I'm creating a new abbreviation. Uh, so I created a new snippet. Same again, same abbreviation. Um, no ID, we're not adding an ID, so it's brand new. Um, and this time I'm saying update, and I hit a problem. Uh, what was happening? Um, was this right? That might not have been where the problem was. Oh, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I did that test, uh, and then that one passed. I'm um, saying so doing an update, but it found it and uh, it clashed. That time it clashed for a different reason. So we found it, went past that, um, and then we'd come down. Um, we weren't using abbreviation, so we're going here, um, and the ID is different because we had a zero ID coming in, 
um, here and then that. So it didn't match and just skipped. So that's fine. But it wasn't really what I was trying to test. Um, but it did get past that. Did it again. So I have, this is me after I'd had a problem actually doing a manual input. And it failed um, because of nils. Um, so I thought, right, okay, we'll do it again. This time we're going to say, right, use abbreviation. Um, and you'll see why in a minute. I'm going to look at some of the codes that just quickly changed last night. Um, and this time, this is where we have a problem. Because what's happening is the snippets are coming in here. We're saying use abbreviation. We have a current abbreviation equals the new one. Um, and then the current snippet ID does not match sync snippet ID uh, because the sync snippet is a nil ID. So it passes that, which is fine. And then we've got the body. It's not equal to, um, which is actually a fail in theory. So that doesn't pass because we've got the same body. Um, and then the last used um, may or may not match, um, but in this case does match. So that fails. So the only reason we get through into the update is because we've got a nil ID coming, which we should not be passing into an update. Um, we should not be passing the UID of nil into an update. Um, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, and that's, uh, did various tests there. So, um, just to narrow it down and make sure this wasn't going mad. Um, but I was getting back a different number of matches. Um, so, uh, when I first sort of found the problem and then started testing it this way, sure enough, um, it was saying that four was skipped instead of the five expected. Uh, so I commented that out just to double check to see where whether it actually did update. And sure enough, um, came back and said updated one, which I did not want. Um, and then I worked it out as to exactly what, what was going on. Um, and so commented that out so it passed through. Um, and we get um, an issue here, down here now, where the ID that we... Um, are getting back from the update is nil compared to the existing ID, which is, you know, that's a bad test anyway, really. Um, but that confirmed my problem. I'm trying to update a snippet to have a nil UUID, which is a no-no. You can't do that. Um, so it made me have a little rethink. Uh, so... I think I'm doing it slightly wrong. I think I don't need to be quite so concerned about saying, hey, I only want to update snippets based on the abbreviation and forget about the UUID. I think the UUID needs to be um, the key, uh, no matter what, even if we're doing kind of legacy mode, because in the current snippet Pixie that's released, you don't have UUIDs, you don't have IDs, you only have abbreviations as the key. Um, so if you say, okay, I want to force an update, it's basically saying, okay, I found an abbreviation that matches. Um, do an update of the body, because that's the only other field that's happening there, um, based on um, that match. Do the update. Don't try and create a new one. Do the update. It's fine. Um, but things are going to be different with this version because we do have UIDs to make sure everything can be synced between machines and stuff. Eventually. Um, that's my plan anyway. So if you come down and you say, right, I don't care about the UID and I only want to care about the abbreviation, we're going to get into situations where we have a nil ID coming in, which we need to deal with. Um, and we also have the situation where you may be having uh, the same UUID being passed in the file 
with a completely different abbreviation, which matches a different abbreviations uh, with a different UUID. And you're going to get these real mishmash problems. Um, or trying to like coordinate updates to get things in the right order and this kind of stuff. And I think we've kind of just like overcomplicated it. So I think I need to simplify. Um, and so this last night, I was just like, okay, what should we do? Uh, so I think my plan here is not to use this um, options use abbreviation anymore. I don't think that's a valid request. I think I should always be looking at the data as it stands and dealing with it in its own context as to whether, yes, we do updates or don't do updates, and that's it. It's either new or updates, or rather new only or new plus updates. That's it. That's the options you get. Um, so that's what I want to go back to. Um, and then there's the situation where we pass in data like, uh, we've got um, a cat new dot here. So here we've got an import file, which purely has abbreviation and body, no IDs, no last use. Like it's just like raw data that we just want to insert. Um, and that kind of scenario. Um, we don't have UIDs, obviously. So I need to do something whereby if we do, if we are doing updates and we find a match on the abbreviation, we should use the current version's ID in the update, obviously. So we need to kind of transfer it back into the data that we're handling. I also realized that I really don't want to be having data like I just showed coming in with no last used um, and just like obliterating all the last used values. And uh, that's going to upset people. So it should look and say, oh, the data coming in doesn't have a last used. It's a zero timestamp. And basically not use that in the update. Use the, um, the found ones uh, update. Uh, value. So that's the plan for today. Um, let's see if we can get this going. So the first thing I want to do um, is get rid of this use abbreviation so that everything fails. Um, and then I've got a good plan as to where to be to fix things. So that's going to go bang now. Um, And that means we're basically not going to be doing update snippet with abbreviation. Um, so, but let's, let's look at this. Uh, okay, oh, I just need to fix a couple of things. So I need to remove this. So I added that last night um, after when I was looking at this as a thing to say, okay, well, we're in legacy mode, which is what we've got at the moment. Um, we always want to update only via um, abbreviation because we don't have any IDs in the existing data sets and blah, blah, blah. So I was going to force it. And then when the subcommand version happens, be able to switch that on and then we'd fix this. But get rid of that. Don't need it. I think we'll find out. Um, I can always add it back later. OK, so. Now, the command line interface is only going to have the force, which translates into, yes, we can do an update, yes or no. Um, and also we get a file name as well. So that's fine. Um, and then in the daemon, let's walk this through. We've got data that's coming in. Um, we grab all the current snippets start transaction we'll keep that for the moment we might change that later um, and then we walk through all these new snippets
if we have any current snippets that we retrieved earlier, does the ID match an existing snippet? Do we keep that? Yes. That's our key thing at the moment. So if we're passing in an ID, then we've got something to look for and do the match. If we've not found a match or could not do a match based on ID, we need to have a quick look to see whether there is a snippet based on the other key, which is abbreviation. So yeah, I think we'll keep that too. If we found a match, but we're not doing updates, we have to skip it. Yeah, we can keep that. Okay, so we found a match. What we're going to do with it? Um, down below here, just to, at the moment, after if we don't find a match, we don't get into that block, and we try and do an insert because we've got new data based on ID or abbreviation, one way or the other. Um, but we'll see. So, grab the current snippet, because we need it, as a quick reference, rather than continuously looking into the slice. So, we've done that today. Um, now, one way or another, however we got to that current snippet, we now have an ID in there um, because it's come from the database. Um, so we don't need to do a bunch of stuff here. So if we have matched a sync snippet, but we didn't have an ID, then current snippets ID must be used and only body and last used should be, should determine the update. Okay. Right, so let's do okay. I think we can simplify this quite a lot then. So let's take let's make some space. So we've got some somewhere to put our brain dump. So let's say okay, if Yeah. So if the sync snippet ID is equal to UID dot nil. So it was an abbreviation match only. But we have a current snippet. we can say sync snippets ID should be the same as the current snippet. Okay. So we've just done all that.
and then here. I'll keep on that to do for a second. So regardless of whether we've just done that switch in, we've got a current snippet and a sync snippet. And one of them may have last used. which is different. And the precedence should probably be keeping what's on the current machine. So what we'll do, I think if I remember correctly, In the insert, yeah, um, if we've got like an um, if last used is in set, it actually defaults to like um, the year zero 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 one zero one zero one that's the date or something. But we want to use the Unix timestamp uh, epoch as our nothing's been set type thing because we're just using integers to go over dbus and stuff. So I think we should be able to do something like this whereby. Yeah, if, if if the Unix, yeah, I think that's right. What we'll do is we'll say, if the sync snippet, the last used, dot unix is equal to zero and the current snippets last used Unix is greater than zero. Swap it in because we want to keep what's there. So the sync snippet last used is therefore say it. now I'm updated to use the current snippets last used. Okay. So that's got to be zero. And last use has to be greater than zero for that swap to happen. Do we have any other scenarios where things might change? So If the input is not zero, I'll get used. I think later on we might do an option whereby we just say always use the current snippets or, or always use the sync snippet, whatever. Um, so we might have a little switch for that in the sub command, but we haven't got that now. So we're just doing sane, sane happy path stuff here at the moment. Um, sane defaults really, not happy path. Um, if 
if it's a zero coming in and there's a zero in the database already, nothing happens. It's the same thing. It's going to just use what's been pushed in because it's the same anyway. Um, if If it's zero in the current, yeah, I think that's okay. I think that's all we need at the moment. We just default to the current snippets last used if we're not supplying one. Assuming that current snippets last used is valid. Well, if it is valid and used. Okay. I think we'll just stick with that. Okay. So we're now at the point where We have an ID. We've maybe changed last used. Yeah, we should be able to update via ID now, so don't care about that test there because it has to be true now, no matter what. No, that's not true. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 right. So we might have at this scenario, we might have We might have a snippet come in with an ID and the abbreviation is changed. So we matched an ID and that's all we care about. And then we're going to be updating the abbreviation. If we only matched on abbreviation and not ID, then the ID cannot possibly have changed in this. So we don't need to look at that. But we do need to look at whether Yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay. So if the abbreviation body or last used have changed. then we can do an update.
Do a hang in. Can't do a hang in thingy, can I? Doesn't like it. Me. Um. Right. Is that correct? If abbreviation body or last used have changed, then it's worth doing an update. If we only matched on abbreviation, then the ID has to be the same, so we can't compare, but the body or last used may have changed. If we matched on ID, either the abbreviation body, yeah, that's right, I think, I think we're good. And if you pass in, Duff data. Yeah. I think it's not gonna it's not gonna be super intelligent, but at least if the data coming in is good. It should sort itself out. Okay, yeah, I think that's right. And I think what we need to do here, because because we found one. No, no, I'll we'll keep that same. I was just thinking that maybe I should do the same thing here. So we're updating the list of snippets that we've grabbed initially to match what we've just updated in the database without going back to the database and getting it. Um, I was thinking we should do that when we do a skip as well because Potentially, we've updated the ID. Last year doesn't matter because if this didn't happen, we would have done the update. If this does happen, we may not do the update. Is that right? No, if that does happen, we may not do the update. If it didn't happen, we may have done the update. That's right. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, so if it didn't happen yeah yeah what are you using sync update but if 
this changes, do we need to reference that in the list? No. Again. The list has the ID and abbreviation. So it's really good. That's fine. Okay. So if we get past all that, which is much simpler code now, um, we've basically not found a snippet. And we need to insert it. Or, yeah, so it's either we didn't find one in the existing list. Yep, but what we should do. is update the list. We should append it. So, so we've got a new snippet. And if we pass current snippets equals append current snippets new It's not going to like that because it's not a pointer. Oh. No, it's that. That's the problem. Yeah, we do get a pointer back and we are updating pointers. So that's fine. Oh, they didn't. Hold on. Oh yeah, get a snippet. Snippet. Snippet, we're good. Okay. Okay. I think we might be there. He says. Very cautiously. That's much simpler code and no far less nesting. That would be a lot easier just to like stick in a function. Just passing in current snippet. If we do that. Okay, um, and then in the tests. Right, let's put these things back. All right, we're not using news abbreviation anymore. I think we're good. All right. So this last test is that going to be? It's actually a duplicate now, isn't it? 
because we've simplified things. So uh, let's just quickly run it and see if it passes. Um, yeah. Do they all pass? They do. Okay. Now let's double check this. So we have a test whereby coming in, let's get along this test. We've got three snippets. We go grab them, convert them into debug snippets, and Pass them in with empty options, which means it's going to be false on the update. It should skip them all. That's good. Then we create a new snippet with that abbreviation. We add it to the list of data, so we've got four items now. Um, same options, no updates, doesn't matter. So we skip the three and create the one. Then we go get the data, make sure it's okay, convert them into snippets, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're in order. So we've got an extra snippet in there now, we've got four. Grab that new one's ID, because we might need it. Then we update that new one's body. And we say, OK, let's do an update this time. And we get one update. The other three do not get updated. Come down. Check it. Make sure it's OK. Now we update both the abbreviation and the body for that snippet. And we're passing in an ID to the update. So it matches and updates. Then we come down, grab them, make sure everything is as we just spec'd. And then we carry on. Create a new one which is a copy. No ID, no last used. We add it to the list, so we've now got five items going in. We say let's not update. And they all skip because that abbreviation matches, even without the ID. There, we just check that nothing untoward has happened. Don't know why we bother, as soon as everything skipped, but hey, got some braces. Create a new snippet with the abbreviation, but no ID again. All right, so we're going to do the same, because we've just grabbed the data. We need to add it back in again. We've only got four items now. So we add the fifth again. This time we say update. And we've already got that, haven't we? What are we doing? No, we did false last time. This time we're allowing an update. And we've got duplicate data coming in, which is really bad and should not happen if you've done an export. But we've got to protect it. So it comes in, we're doing an update. So no existing snippets changed. 
A matching new one has mismatched ID because it's nil. It gets skipped. All right, so this is the bit I don't get. Okay, so what we've got here. This is the one. Yeah, and we've duplicated that now. So the wobble comes in normally. Okay. No, oh yeah, I get it. Right. So now I know why I need to have the extra one here now. So no existed existence snippets changed and matching new one has unchanged data so that's fine it should get skipped because the body last used match so that's fine that's good now we do it again, so we grab it, do it, add it. But this time, let's change the body. So we'll do Um, I'll we'll just do wobble, wobble, oh. okay. So what do we expect to happen? We're doing an update. The body has changed. The last used has not changed. And we're not supplying an ID. So we do expect an update. So A new one updates existing. ID is changed and match a new one updates existing snippets body. Yeah, I think that's right. So I'm going to get four skips and an update. Grab that. The length of the snippets that we return is still four because that new one is actually an update. Abbreviation is still wobble. And we're expecting that to be changed. Okay. Right, that makes more sense now. He says, I don't expect you're following. 
It's hard to follow along as to what's going on. It's really difficult when you've got this long list of tests, but I think it worked today. It's hard enough for me. All right, passed. Good. Okay. Uh, was that the right test? Yeah. Damon D bus. Okay. Good. I think we're kind of there. If I look at the existing data, I may have screwed up one when I did my test last night. No. What was happening, I think, was this one uh, stopped the update from happening because we had the abbreviation already in there. And I was trying to update with a zero ID and I was trying to insert. Maybe. Oh no, I think what was happening, it was updating that with the zero UUID. And then it tried to update that one with the zero UUID. So any so it's only lucky that I was trying to update two that found the bug um, for the IDs. If I had only one, I might have had a zero ID in there. Right, so we've got good data there. Now in theory, it will skip. If I do, um, okay, let's make things have changed. Let's run the daemon. So that's going to be using that database I just showed. Um, and if I do snippet pixie import new.json, which is that data that you can just see there. Skip to created none. If I update the new, I should copy it actually. Just so we know. If I now make that, let's make that one. That wobble wobble all morning. We should get one, one skip and one update. He says, and it's wrong. Which is correct because we can't do updates unless we do force, and then it works. Okay. And if I do it again, it should skip two. And if I take off the force, obviously it skips two. If I switch to the new one, which now has updated data, skips two unless I force, because now we're going to switch it back. And then it updates. We have a winner. Let's do one. 
let's do something silly. So here, if we take this ID, and we add it to the Wibble one <coughs> on the import, so that gets updated to Wibble, and then the next one comes in with Wibble. It should, sorry, with Wobble, and no ID, it should pick up on Should create a new one or try to create a new one. No, it won't. Is it well? Actually, no, the update, the original update won't work because this ID already exists with the abbreviation. All right, so we should see a failure. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to break it. So if I take, let's take the updated one, and we'll just call it. Invalid. And on the Wibble, we have an ID like that. So that is Wobble's ID. And I'm going to update it to Wibble. But we can't. Because Wibble exists with a different ID. Okay. Should not see this in data base. And at that point, it should bail. We won't see this either. We're doing a force to make sure. So it should go bang. Yeah. Now we just double check the database. Yeah, nothing's changed. Good. Not very user friendly, but can't really do anything about that. I think at some point we're going to have like a reset. And then you could say, okay, this, you know, delete everything and then import new. So you could fix things that way. But yeah, so I think, I think we've done it. We have an import. Yeah. 
uh, in legacy mode. And I want to do uh, subcommand version later, but not now. I want to move on from this. Okay. So uh, I might have a bunch of junk in here now. So let's have a look at the to do's. Output from what to do is a first body, shaving the body. So that's okay. That's all list mode stuff. Yeah, that was another test that I thought I had some other time. So no to do's. Um, let's do a diff. Uh, oh, actually, I could just do. Don't know why I'm doing that. I have this. My unversioned files is just the JSON. Don't care about them. Uh, let's do this. Right. So we have. If you're going to really import existing bits with same bit, blah blah blah. So we've got the force flag back in. We've got force switch into arg update we've got tests for the config import and force we've got the actual sync snippet um cli let's just take some snippets options does the do returns errors very simple sync snippets in database with options to handle clashes yeah okay okay why is that then interesting no longer needing the Snippet package. Huh. Okay. Why is that? Hold on. Because it comes via via that. That's very strange. Because we're definitely using it. So it's interesting that because I'm not directly looking for it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, so do that, do that. We've now updated the whole thing on there. Does we be a match existing snippet? Does ID match? Does abbreviation match? Now I'm actually snippet but not update and skip it. Right then current snippet ID must be used and only body on last use should determine update. Yeah, that's gonna happen. If last use not supplied, then use current snippets. Yeah, that's good. Happy with that. We've got the updated bits. Done those to do's. We are now handling the new snippet properly and adding it to the current list so that we can check on it as we go through the loop. 
which is good. And then in the tests, we've got lots more tests. And we've fixed up a few clashes and names. Uh, we have sync options now. And sync snippets takes it. Uh, okay. Ah, okay. For the sync options, right? That's fine. All of this needs re looking at. At some point, we can't have all these massive switch statement in there. And then write update snippet with abbreviation. Oh yeah, it's now public. Although we're not using it still. I believe. So I'm going to reject that change. And then I'll do a quick retest. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not used anymore. Still does its thing. That should skip. And that should force. Skip. Do it. Skip. Come cool. on. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so at the moment we're not using that function. So that might go away at some point. All right, let's commit this and go do job stuff. So, okay. I'd have them all, thank you very much. Um, And push. Cool. 
and then with luck that will uh, do its thing soon. I should actually finish these off. Uh, that's resolved. Resolved as implemented. That's all we need to do. And that's implemented too. If used in conjunction with import, existing snippets with the same abbreviation are updated. Only false. No short variation. That's correct. Done that too. So we're getting serious now. We still haven't got like management stuff going on and we haven't got the auto expand at all, um, which is kind of key. And that's probably, probably the next thing to do because if I don't get that work in, uh, well, it's not all for nothing because there's the uh, the GUI version which we haven't even touched yet, where you can pick a snippet and do the thing. But really, we want all to expand to be up and running. So that's maybe what we need to do. I think. But I think we're in a good position here. So with the CLI, it's got help. It's got force set now there. Um, got the import text there. We can do a ping. So. That's good. We've got status. Um, it should be a zero there. And then if I kill off the uh, daemon, it's a one. It's a one. Oh. Yeah. Bring it back up. Stay. Yeah, that's cool. So it's all working, I think. What else have we got? I should have just typed help. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. and we've got things that are hidden from this list. I do need to fix that up, actually. There's no mention of the subcommand there. Uh, this is all kind of legacy mode stuff. I need to switch that around. Uh, that's maybe something to do next as a little quick exercise. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, maybe I should add that. It's a little task to remind myself. Um, CLI show variable sub commands in help message. Can we do 
this in here. I suppose it doesn't really make much difference in as it's all. That's it, but anyway. Right, yeah, at the moment there's no mention. Oh, is there? Yeah, of course it is. Oh. That's fine. Right, send the engine. And that's fine. Okay, have the builds run. I have the past. Brilliant. Okay. Good stuff. Alright, well that's me done for today then. Um that was successful. That was good to finally get that sorted um, and get those kind of edge cases. Uh, picked up and dealt with um, and I think I'll switch now to doing something other than import stuff I could do sub commands and do all kinds of fancy things with um, switching on what data is actually updated because um, like I say just just do the body um, and stuff like that but I don't need that just now um, I could do that some other time I think the next thing to do is I either quickly do that help message fix up um, or get into the nitty gritty of doing the auto expand um, in the daemon, which could be fun because uh, that's going to be trying to work with Dbus again catch in um, accessibility, accessibility toolkit stuff. That's easy to say. Um, but yeah, so that will be uh, interesting to see if I can even do that. Anyway, uh, anyway until next time, um, thanks for watching uh, and take care. Bye.